If your database is set to full or bulk log recovery model, then you'll be able to take transaction log backups. By having transaction log backups with your full backups, you have the ability to do a point in time restore. Say if someone accidentally drops a table at 1055, you can restore your database to 1054 before the table was dropped. A transaction log backup allows you to backup the transaction log. After the transaction log backup is issued, the space within the transaction log can be reused for other processes. If a transaction log backup is not taken and the database is not using the simple recovery model, the transaction log will continue to grow. So once you're running your database in full recovery model, and especially if this database is a high transaction database, you have to have regular transaction log backup taking place so your disk don't run out of space. So let's look at an example of how you take a transaction log backup. In order to take a transaction log backup, right click on the database, select task, select backup, select your backup type as transaction log, select add and then specify the location and the name of the file. So I'll be calling this adventure 2022 underscore one. The transaction log backups carry a .trn extension unlike the full backup and the differential that carries the .bak extension. Then select OK. Now you can also generate a script that will be used to take the backup. Select OK to execute the backup. So if you look carefully at the command, you'll see that it's doing a backup log instead of backup database, right? Specify the location and pretty much the name of the database. Now let's change the demo database too to a simple recovery model and then try to take a transaction log backup after. So if you right click, select task, then backup, then specify transaction log, you'll realize that you don't have the option to do a transaction log backup. So cancel. If we attempt to use the script to get this done, we will get an error. So it's going to be demo db2 for the name of the backup, demo, and for the file that will be stored to disk, right? I'm calling it demo db underscore two. Now let's execute. So the error states that the statement backup log is not allowed while in recovery mode, simple. While the recovery mode is simple. So you'd have to change the database model to a full or bulk log. In the next lecture, we'll be taking a look at how to perform a recovery of a database.